Hey afternoon everyone, Jeremy here with Brook Pressure Washing. Just wanted to take some time out and show you the difference between uh, organic and inorganic stains. Typically there's two types of staining that um, in my industry that we encounter. There's your organic, you know, your mold, your algae, um, your, your organic type of material. And then there's also the inorganic. There's rust, there's hard water stains, things like that, efflorescence. Um, but I wanted to show you, it's on this house that I'm washing today, I wanted to show you an inorganic stain. Now this is a stain that's pretty common, and actually a lot of people uh, mistake it for, for mold, for organic growth, and it's actually inorganic. It's from the runoff of your roof. And what it does is it will leave a stain that looks like it's organic, but it's actually inorganic. So let me turn this around, let me show you. See right here, the spot here on this fascia? See that right there? That's actually an inorganic stain. It's runoff from the roof. Um, there's some other spots here. You can see it. it's almost like black streaks. And the only way to address that is you have to uh, physically take a chemical and brush it um, to, to remedy that stain. Um, a lot of times it will come back so um this is a quick little video just wanted to show you you know here's a perfect example of an inorganic stain and let me show you what organic staining is you can see right here that that's organic so in the world of stains you have organic and then like i showed you over here this right here on this fascia, that's inorganic. So organic, inorganic. Um, you know, when we go to service your home, we like to, you know, bring education. Um, we also like to set realistic expectations. So um, just wanted to, you know, show you a little quick video about organic and inorganic. Hope you guys are having a great day. Bye-bye.